Liverpool will award Mohamed Salah with a new long-term contract. He will become the highest-paid footballer in the history of the club. Only 15% of Barcelona's debt is due to COVID-19 losses. Previously, the board member Josep Bartomeu said that it was 50%. Aston Villa plans to replace Jack Grealish with Tammy Abraham. Chelsea will release the player for £40 million. Messi, my dream is to play alongside him. I hope that this dream will soon come true. Memphis Depay said. Kuman wants to boost the roster with two, three more players. The manager asked the management for a new midfielder and left back. Paul Pogba returned to the Manchester United location. The Frenchman began preparations for the new season, despite having an interest from PSG. He likes Mariba has a good offer from Chelsea. Barcelona representatives assuring. Kuman is counting on Felipe Coutinho. Barca will consider taking a footballer if another club takes over the Brazilian salary. Granit Xhaka will sign a new contract with Arsenal. The new contract can be concluded until the summer of 2024. After reaching the final of the Olympic Games, Pedri is considered the main and almost the only favorite for the Golden Boy Award. Eintracht offered Milan 12 million euros for Jens Peter Hauge. The negotiations are in advanced stage. Adrian Rabiot was knocked out of Juventus due to injury. He will miss the first act against Udinese. Arsenal offered money plus one of the players in exchange for James Madison. Football London reported. Eden Hazard is in his best physical condition of all time playing for Real Madrid. Thomas is not included in the plans of Everton's new coach Rafael Benitez. The Colombian is put on a transfer list. Salvatore Sarigu became a general player. The goalkeeper moved there as a free agent. Atletico plans to extend the contract with Luis Suarez until the summer of 2023. Ibrahimovic considered the option of returning to PSG this summer. However, Paris representatives decided to reject the services of the Swiss striker. Munir and Brandt have contracted the coronavirus. The players were sent to self-isolation. German Cup match Bremen vs Bayern Munich was postponed indefinitely due to the outbreak of coronavirus in the rival of the Munich club. 34-year-old goalkeeper Joe Hart has become a player of Celtic. The contract is valid until summer 2024. A number of sources claim Barcelona will announce the signing of a new contract with Osman Dembele in the next couple of days. Barcelona expects to close Miral and Pjanic deal in the upcoming days. The Bosnian wants only to move to Juventus. Omtiti has fully recovered from knee injury. The Barca defender is ready to play at the top level. Toni Kroos may miss from 6 to 8 weeks of action due to chronic groin injury. The Premier League referees were advised not to award dubious penalties, as was the case with Raheem Sterling in the Euro 2020 semi-finals. Roma bought Elder Shamaruda for 17.5 million euros from Genoa. The contract is valid until summer 2026. Zenit is interested in Pedro. The former Barca striker did not go to the preseason with Roma. Il Romanista writes, Spain and Brazil will face each other in the final of the Olympics, while Mexico and Japan are to compete for the third place. Barca midfielder Pedro has made his 72nd appearance this season. He will be at Bruno's achievement if he is involved in the Olympics finals. Tottenham and Atalanta have agreed on a transfer of Christian Romero. Spurs will pay 50 million euros with 5 million of possible bonuses. Atalanta is close to loaning Marek de Miral for one season. The contract will include a buyback option in the amount of 28 million euros. The Premier League will change the approach to determining an offset position with the help of VER. There will be no more offsides because of the nails and noses of the players, the head of the Premier League referees committee Mike Riley said. Liverpool has extended the contract with Fabinho until 2026. A number of fixtures took place yesterday. The most interesting ones are in front of you. And now it's time for us to dive into the main news of the release. Barcelona is still considering the sale of Antoine Griezmann, according to Gerard Romero. If any other club offers 50 million euros for a striker, Barca allows the potential buyer to negotiate directly with a Frenchman. In the capital of Catalonia, it is believed that Atletico will return Antoine. Real Madrid fans are mostly against Ronaldo's return to the club. We have gathered some interesting opinions from the popular resource Reddit. 
As much as it be a nostalgic reunion, and many Madridistas would welcome him with open arms, we are essentially trying to rebuild, so going to Ronaldo would be a step in the reverse direction. The fan writes, If they add Dybala and De Ligt, I'm in. Another one jokes, Doubt Ronaldo would want to just sign a one-year contract, and surely he would still want at least 20 million euros, which is something we can't afford if we want Mbappe. A third fan notes, as you can see, not all of them are delighted with Ron's possible comeback. Kylian Mbappe will extend his spell at PSG, L'Equipe assures. The French media are confident that Paris will not sell its stellar striker to Real Madrid and will persuade him to sign a new contract up until the end. In the meantime, Mbappe remains on his own ground. He has no intention to extend his cooperation with the Parisians, and next season will be the last for Mbappe in a PSG shirt. We are to recall that in the summer of 2022, he plans to move to Real Madrid as a free agent. Neymar continues to enjoy the vacation he was given to recuperate after the 2021 Copa America. The media published a number of pics from the 29-year-old player's rest on the Spanish island of Ibiza. The pictures indicate that the father got a bit overweight. It's worth noting that the new season of the French National League kicks off on August 7th, and it's not yet clear how long it will take for Neymar to get in perfect condition. Harry Kane missed Tottenham's second training session already. This Spurs management will find the attacker. Each time the penalty will grow. According to The Athletic, the Englishman will not return to the club unless he is guaranteed a transfer to Manchester City. Fabrizio Romano reports that Harry will still return to training this week. And The Independent adds that he will submit a transfer request in the upcoming days. Tottenham wants £150 million for their top match forward and prefers to sell the player to a foreign club. However, Harry only wants to go to Man City, to which Jack Grealish has joined up lately. Chelsea continues its efforts to sign intra striker Romelu Lukaku. The Blues are preparing a new proposal for the Nerazzurri in the amount of 120 to 130 million euros, according to insider Fabrizio Romano. This one can suit Inter perfectly, Nicolas Kiro reports. The Belgian himself is offered a long term contract with a salary of 12 million euros per year. Lukaku and his surroundings seriously consider to return into Chelsea. So far, there has been no positive or negative response from the Belgian. This is really happening, friends. Another top-notch transfer is soon to be confirmed. And how could we go without an update on the situation with Lionel Messi? Our updates are very promising. Mundo Deportivo announces that Barcelona may announce the signing of a new contract with Messi just today, or at last tomorrow. According to many reputable Catalan journalists, Leo will agree on a five-year contract worth 200 million euros. Not bad, but it should be kept in mind that the Argentinian salary will be 20 million euros after taxes. Therefore, a huge respect to Leo. He went to a decrease in salary for the sake of his club. For the Catalans to be able to register Messi, three things need to happen. First, the sale of Braidweight for at least 15 million euros. Second, getting rid of Pjanic and Umtiti. And third, Pique, Alba, Busquets and Roberto are still to agree on lowering their salary. Barca management is still thinking of Messi finally joining the roster in the next campaign.